the water drains, and it gets pumped in the garden. And this apparatus here powers the whole system. Uh, there was a lot of water standing in here, so uh, and she wanted to build it somewhere in here, but I didn't want to put it, you know, on top of wet ground, so I needed to get rid of all the water. So, the solution I came up with is instead of running it out out there and letting it drain, uh, she said, why don't you pump it into the garden with extra water? So, what I did was, is I put a catch can in here. If you look down there, inside the catch can is a bilge pump. And uh, it has an automatic switch on it, so when it it goes down, the water goes, pumps all the water out, it uh, turns itself off. And this is uh, just that plastic hose, real cheap from Lowe's. And these are just regular fittings. There is a dishwasher fitting to go from the larger size bilge pump to the half inch. Uh, this is the same plastic hose right here. And then this hose here runs up to a soaker hose in your garden. So it's pretty simple. The water drains in here and it pumps it out. All right, so in order to get all that powered up, we have a solar panel here. Uh, and a small uh, lead acid battery. These are like uh, 15 bucks on Amazon. So this battery stores the charge uh, that runs the pump. And um, this controller here, I don't know if you can see it, see what the uh, current state is. PV is 14 volts, battery volt uh, temperature, and battery voltage is 14.5. It's a little high, but that's alright. So, anyway, the battery, the solar charge controller, got it on Amazon, and, uh, and I've also got a kill switch here. I got from Lowe's, pretty cheap. And there's also an inline fuse right here for the uh, for the pump. And uh, of course, the solar panel I got on Amazon. It was like thirty-five dollars. And uh, this little strap here was was aluminum. It's pretty cheap. And then some U bolts just attached there and there. And that's how I triangulated the uh, solar panel and this little stake here is like a no dig stake from Lowe's it was like five bucks I think so pretty non-intrusive and I use some of this plastic hose here to run the the wires down underneath the ground over to the pump and uh, of course I had to drill a hole in the side over here so the plastic hose would go through and the wires the lines can go and the wires can go down to the pump. The water drains and it gets pumped in the garden. And this apparatus here powers the whole system. And I've actually got an extra hose here run that I run out here. Uh, I just took a spade and buried that hose all the way out to there in case I wanna drain it out that way but for now everything is a super soaker hose in your garden with uh, I don't know, like three or four runs running lengthwise so uh, and I had to drill holes in the soaker hose because you know I wanted that pump to you know pump it up fast and uh, not have to sit there and, you know Put constant pressure on the hoses and those hoses are buried um, underneath here and does a pretty good job of keeping everything nice and damp yeah so it's kind of damp right now and as you can tell the garden is flourishing so it's working of course we've been getting a lot of rain too so 
anytime it rains, of course it rains the garden, uh, it waters the garden, but it also, the water gets in the catch can and gets pumped into the garden. Anytime the sprinklers are on, it runs in here, gets pumped in the garden. So that way she doesn't have to come out here and manually water the garden. And we're not wasting all that water and we don't have a big wet spot right here. Uh, which it used to be really slushy right in there. So that was our solution.